Good morning, guys. Oh, wow, the sun is so bright. Jesus, yeah. Good morning, guys. Right now it is, what time is it? Oh, it's 7.45 a.m. You know, more great day for opportunity, great day for growth. Man, I love these walks, especially loving these walks in the morning. It's a great way to start my day. Just loving it. Oh. What's going on Swift RT Nation? This is Josh and today's video is just gonna be more of a talk with you guys. Um, it's gonna be more of a talk of why I started doing YouTube. Previously I did a video explaining why I started doing YouTube. It was like a two minute, three minute video. I can put the link in this card if you guys wanna watch that video. But I wasn't very clear and I was very comedic about it, but Today's video is gonna be more for me just to explain to you guys the real reason of why I started doing YouTube. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to bring this story all the way back in high school. My dream, and my dream to like to this day is like to be an Olympic runner. I, I was very passionate about running when I was in high school. Um, I started running my, I started taking running seriously my junior year of high school. Um, I actually, but I started in my, I started in my freshman year of high school, so I started doing, I did track and field in high school, and I didn't take it that seriously, but my times were getting a lot better, and, you know, I just, like, like, like uh, I was, like, a typical high school student, I just, like, ate, like, a lot of junk food and just, like, just ran, but my times were getting a lot faster, but what happened was that over, over time, um, leading into my junior year of high school, I started, like, having panic attacks every time like before my races or during my races what i do is that when i start my race after like what the events that i did was like the 800 mile four by four 400 like i did like mostly a lot of mid-distance events for like when i start my race um i get very anxious and because i always wanted to win i didn't always tell myself that failure wasn't an option and then all this anxiety starts like rising up in my like in my stomach that like to the point where i'm gonna throw up and when I went in the middle of my races, I pretend I like, pretend like I fainted, so I collapse on the ground, telling people that you know probably I had like low uh, low blood sugar levels, you know I tripped, but in reality is that I was I had high anxiety, and the anxiety made my mind believe that I was in so much pain that I just basically my body couldn't take it. But in every single workout that I did. My workouts were fast that allowed me to like, that, that allowed me to be able to like run like a 430 mile, run like a 158, 800. I had this mental barrier in my head. I was, in, I was a prisoner of my own mind. And this kept happening from junior year all the way to college. I didn't ask for help until the year of um, a junior year of college, um, where I actually started actually seeking help for panic attacks before my races. And it, it did help because in my senior year of college, I did, I finished every single one of my races. And, you know, I really appreciate the, um, the college, my we in college, that's the college I went to. I really appreciate them for ha taking the time to help me and um, help me like deal with my um, situation of me having panic, panic attacks before my races. After I graduated, I kept telling myself, oh man, now I can't be a pro runner because I have a lot of do not finishes on my, Time, so what am I gonna do? Like, hey, I have a business major, so I'm just gonna go um, find a find a job to do something in business or something like something like that. And I never. The thing is that I never saw myself working in an office setting. I just never saw myself doing something like that. Just like the feeling of me just working in an office or working like in some type of cubicle, just feel claustrophobic or I just feel like pressure, like nervousness and anxiousness when I think about it, because I just never envision myself doing something like that. And then I told myself, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to think about being a coach and a conditioning coach. And what I recently did was that I did an internship at Yale university and the internship was very amazing. Um, it was a great program and I highly recommend you guys, if you guys do like strength and conditioning, you guys should do the Yale internship because it was one, it was one of the best programs out. It's one of the best programs out there and it's one of the, it's, it taught me, it taught me a lot about um, hard work and also a lot about organization, leadership skills and just always being on top of your things. So I highly recommend you guys do that internship if you guys are interested in doing strength and conditioning. During my internship, 
no, I told like I told like in my previous video that I was having like pain in my knee and I, then I ended up having a meniscus tear and I and I ran a half um, and I ran a half marathon with a meniscus tear. I didn't realize it was a meniscus tear, at, meniscus tear at the time, but I just ran on it because I thought it was just like tightness or something. But then at the end of the race, I was I was barely able to walk. But I did PR. I ran like a, I ran a 128 with a messed up um, with a messed up knee. So this is the medal that I got. It was the Hartford um, half marathon. It was a really great. It was a great experience. I loved it a lot. And once I ran this half marathon, I was just like, I want to do more half marathons. I want to do more marathons. And I, it just, it just got me really excited. It grew my hunger for my passion for running even more. And all, and then I was like, I always told myself that I wanted to just re, like revolve my life around fitness, running, you know, just like just living life to the fullest. One and then over like a month ago, like in, in like somewhere around January, I think it was around January 24th or 23rd, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. And when I uploaded my first video, like an alien isolation gameplay video, and I was I was in love with the process of me like learning how to build my channel and learning to just how to upload a video, how to edit, how to cut like parts from from the from the footage and it was a it was a really good experience I, and i felt so in control with my life that i felt like i was my own boss like just editing my own videos it just felt so cool to me to do something like that and also like sharing videos like this with you guys as well talking to the in front of a camera started to become very therapeutic for me i want to share you guys my stories i'm gonna show you guys share you guys my workouts I want to also share you guys like my progress, like prepping for my races and telling you, telling you guys about my results and how like my success was for my races, you know. When I ran this race, you know, I was so pumped up and I was so excited. Everybody there was like amazing. Um, it was such an amazing crowd, such amazing energy. I was just surrounded by great people and I was just, I was just so thrilled. I was so happy. I just want to run more races. So right now I'm just like scheduling like more races I can run, you know, just. It's just like a really great feeling. And and still to this day, I'm still dealing with like anxiousness when I, before my races, I use Simple Habit. I can put that in the description below if you guys wanna go check out what Simple Habit is and what type of like different types of meditation techniques and tricks that they have. Um, I use it a lot to help me with my anxiety and, and, and with my stress as well, because I'm a person that put way too much pressure on myself. like when I prep for a race or just for anything in general, I just like put a lot of pressure on myself. And it's just like a, always, it's like a constant battle that I'm always dealing with. Just telling myself that, you know, you're trained for it, you're ready. But my mind is always just trying to like play tricks on me, just telling me that I can't do it. You know, you're not good enough, but you know, but you are, but, but I always keep telling myself that I am good enough to do, to do this. I am good enough to like get medals like these. I'm like, and the medals like that in the back of like in the back of my wall right there this i'm just good enough to like to do it and it's just like a mental battle that i always deal with every day but it's getting better it's getting it's getting better to better every time another reason why i also started doing youtube as well is because i also want to be an influencer for people i always saw myself as an influencer but the problem is i didn't know how to reach out to people i always saw myself as a leader i never saw myself as a follower i just want to reach out to people especially like the like especially people like in running and the fitness community that you know you know you can achieve your goals things are possible you know always be around positive people that that inspire you I just always vision myself to be around in a setting like that. I don't hide, I don't want to hide anything from you guys, you know, because you guys are the reason why I keep making videos. Like, I just, I love this bringing out, bringing out new content for you guys to see, to help you guys see my progress of how, how things are doing, give you guys updates on my life. I love doing that for you guys. It's... It's just like it's just a it's just always like a constant grind, you know. Guys, if you're passionate about doing something, um, my advice for you guys is just go for it, just do it, you know. Me, I'm just starting a YouTube channel. I don't care what other people think. I'm just gonna go for it and just see what happens because you never know. It's just I'm not gonna like tell myself later on like, man, I wish I started a YouTube channel or I wish I just like uploaded this video. You know, I'm just gonna go for it. Just hands on, just go for it. You know, well, um, like don't become a prisoner of your own mind. The only people that put limitations 
on is put limitations on themselves is you. You're the only person that does that, you know? So just try, just don't try to, don't try to put limits on yourself. Don't put those limitations on yourself. It's not, it's not healthy. It's not worth it. You know, you can do it. Always tell yourself that you can do it. Always tell yourself that you can push farther. You can just push just a little bit, a little, a little inch more, you know? always keep telling yourself it's always a constant grind and you always got to trust the process and enjoy the grind because you're going to you're going to learn from your experiences and you're going to grow hope you guys like this video don't forget to smash that like button also don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on my social media i also will post all my social media in the description below and i hope you all have a blessed day i wish you all in in good health i love every, each and every single one of you all right guys i'll see you guys later Thank you.